Hi, this is Robert Tisserand, the third video in the series, How Essential Oils Work in the Body. Today's lesson is called Inhalation in the Brain. When we, when we inhale an essential oil, two events happen. The first event is that there is olfactory nerve signaling. Our brain tells us that we can smell something. We might be able to identify the odor, we might not. And there will also be usually an emotional response. At the simplest level, this is, I like it, or I don't like it, but obviously it can be more sophisticated than that. And there can also be a personal association with a particular smell that brings back a memory or induces a certain feeling or emotion in us. The second event that happens is that there is absorption into the brain as we have already seen. And this can have two effects. It can have a direct effect on brain cells and it can also have an effect on neurochemicals and many essential oils and essential oil constituents do trigger certain neurochemicals. The emotional response and the effect on neurochemicals together brings about a psychological effect. And this is why psychological, the psychological effects of essential oils are difficult to predict because although the effect on neurochemicals is pretty much hardwired, in other words, it's the same for everyone, the emotional response is not hardwired, it's not the same for everyone, and uh, you may not realize this, but there is not a single essential oil that everybody likes. The most widely liked type of fragrance are, are citrus oils, um, but if you get a group of people, 20 or 30 people together, and give them geranium or elang or rose to smell, there will be one or two people who don't like those essential oils. And so the emotional response is not hardwired at all. It's very flexible. Now, in terms of the nose to brain route, um, how does this happen? Well, the olfactory nerves cross bone between the nose and the brain. And the essential oil constituents use this route in order to enter the brain, very simply. This has been demonstrated in animal research where constituents from inhalation were detected in the brain um, after 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour, and then started to reduce. In other research, the analgesic and sedative effect of an inhaled essential oil were compared, another animal study, and the inhalation, the intranasal route, um, was quicker to take effect and had a stronger effect on both uh, reducing pain and relaxing than the oral route. So this is the simple version of the nose to brain route. You inhale something, it enters the olfactory region and through that route um, actually physically gets into the brain. And then through various um, interchanges of um, blood, cerebrospinal fluid and lymph, eventually those molecules are elimin eliminated through the usual routes.